need me. The Ryback Show starts now. Welcome to the Ryback Show Saturday Live. I am the big guy, Ryback, coming at you. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. I've just, uh, before we get into everything and, and the plugs for Feed Me More Nutrition, I've just been notified that I can't stream on Instagram a live video. Very, they're saying something about my account goes against their community standards now. So I'm going to have to shut this off and we're going to come back. We're going to actually try one more live and see if it lets it go. Very odd. They've taken away my ability to monetize the account and now they may be stopping. Let's see if it goes through. Yeah, blocked from sharing live videos. Posts from your account have recently been removed for going against our community guidelines. So live video sharing has been temporarily blocked. Very interesting. All right. We're going to worry about that at a later time. Good to see all of you guys. Thank you for joining me on the Ryback Show. We are streaming on the main account that matters, TikTok, the big guy, Ryback22. So thank you guys all for joining me on that platform. As always, this show is brought to you by Feed Me More Nutrition Premium Supplements, sweetened with stevia and monk fruit, no artificial sweeteners or colors, vegan friendly for men and women, available on feedmemore.com. You can save 20% with discount code RYBACKSHOW20, RYBACKSHOW20 on feedmemore.com. We've got a spin and win wheel. We've got a lot of cool things that you could save up to 35% on that. You can sign up for our exclusive uh Message from me, a message of positivity, inspiration, uh, sometimes some health tips on there, uh, as well as exclusive discounts on our text and email. You can sign up for each of those and get 25% off your next orders, as well as you get, you'll get one message a week, no spam on any of that. Just one text, one email, message of positivity, health and fitness tips, something along those lines, and a discount not available to anybody else. This past week, we did a 31% discount Labor Day, extended Labor Day sale for our, our uh, followers on there. So, and and we've, we've done all kinds of different discounts. We'll do buy one, get one free. Uh, we do all sorts of, like every week, it's something different. Sometimes there'll be like tiers of 25, 30, 35% sales. And who knows, you may even get a 40% sale at some point on there. So sign up. It's, it's really, really worth it. And like, again, we don't spam. So on that. Good to see everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. I also, we got the order in. So I've got these Feed Me More. This is my bio accelerator bottle, but I'm going to show you guys. We got these ordered. It's probably going to be about a month and a half before they're in, um, but they're the double barreled metal water bottles with the bamboo top. The water stays ice cold in these things with the screw on bamboo top here with these. So you guys can see this is, I got this at bio accelerator, which is the stem cell company. That's giving me the treatments for my back and shoulder. That's got me damn near 100% here. And uh, when I was down there, I go, man, these bottles, I was using it for everything. I had my filtered water bottles and I was pouring my filtered water into this because I, I just it has the nice little handle to carry around. I was walking around and I just, I just really like it. They're very durable. And I go, I'm going to order those for our Feed Me More Nutrition customers. So uh, we got a bunch of these coming in and I'll probably do things with giveaways and and different things are probably going to be, I believe the price on these is going to be $24.99. And again, with discounts and things, there'll be ways to get them cheaper. Also, if you sign up for the text and email, it's they're going to be part of the, the, the program on that where I go, hey, spend uh, $30, get a free water bottle today on top of the free gift we're already giving you. And the free gift we're giving you this month is the free Feed Me More Nutrition premium shaker bottle and a white Feed Me More Nutrition uh, face mask. So you just select the free gift. It's yours free. Uh, my way of saying thank you um, for buying my supplements and, and for supporting Feed Me More Nutrition. Hope everyone is doing well. What's going on? What, what's in the news? I uh, I saw Miro today, the uh, AEW TNT champion, the Redeemer himself. He's uh, in Vegas. I believe Dolph's in Vegas uh, as well. I forgot he's having a pool party here and I'm invited in Miro. So I'm, I'm hoping I got my shoulder appointment at 415. 
for my shoulder. And I'm hoping to be able to swing by and go say hello to everyone. I went and saw Rusev. He was eating breakfast. I'm fasting. I'm 17 hours into a fast. Um, but I had my, uh, my, my decaf coffee and caught up with him a little bit. He looks fantastic. He's uh, very happy doing well. So, uh, it was good to catch up with him briefly and hopefully get an opportunity to to catch up with everyone. I think Disco Inferno is going to be down there, they said. Uh, Glenn Gilberti, big fan of Glenn and his show, the Keeping It 100 podcast. So uh, we'll see. Not going to do any partying or anything. I had my little bit of wine last night, and uh, I'm, again, doing the fast, and I'm starving. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. But that's what's going on with me, and it was nice. I hadn't seen Rusev in... Since I, I stayed, I went and saw him at his place before I flew back home on an appearance when he was in Memphis. He still lives in Memphis, but he lives in L.A. as well because Lon is doing, I guess, a lot of the acting stuff. And uh, so they drove down for the uh, for the deal today. And uh, he messaged me this morning. I didn't even know he was in town for it. So it was, uh, but I hadn't seen him. And it's probably been definitely three or four years. So. It's uh, he looks great, looks the same, that which is a good thing as far as it looks. He's bigger than what I saw him last. I feel like like muscular. So he's uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Good to, good to see old Miro. What do we got going on with the question? Super chats are always appreciated and pulled up on screen. Card shop says you're going to be in Vegas in October to play some World Series of Poker events. Very nice. I hope you win. Man, I'm not a gambler. I've never, uh, I never even learned how to play. I didn't even want to. The only game I ever knew how to play was blackjack. And I've, I can count on one hand probably the amount of times I've ever played blackjack in a casino uh, in one small amounts of money and just left. Um, I, I played with Ziggler a couple years ago on New Year's. I think we just, I, we each just like, hey, let's just play like 200, 250 bucks or something. And we'll, play small hands and if we 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 lose we lose and uh we ended up we were drunk so definitely lost i lost everything 200 bucks nothing but and i uh, just walked away and then went and got more drunk so uh, but i hope you win taco terry and opened a new store in henderson very cool there's a lot of vegan places in vegas here going on man it's uh it's really, really cool to see the, the vegan options that we have. And I know McDonald's, I believe in Jan, I think it's in January that if I'm not mistaken, where they're going to be doing the plant-based Big Mac that's coming out. It's, it's already out in the UK, if I'm not mistaken. So if we have anybody that l listens to the show in the UK, that's willing to overnight me a couple plant Mc, McPlant, plant uh, Big Macs for Ryback TV, because I could be, that would make me the first food person in the States to be able to do it which would make that video probably go viral. So uh, if anyone wants to overnight me uh, a couple plant Big Macs on ice, then I could heat them up. <laughs> uh, it'd be nice to be able to. I start appearances next week. I'll be, if you guys are anyone listening to this show, please come out so that there's some people out there. I don't know what the turnout's going to be. I haven't, we'll see. I haven't done anything in a few years, but we're going to be in, um, I'm in Albany on saturday at the mall the colony colon colonial or colony mall from i believe it's either one to three or two to four i put it up on my instagram it's up there on the big guy ryback 22 right now uh and TikTok. there's a post on my appearances but i'll be at that the mall in the afternoon and then i'll be at immortal championship wrestling at night for a signing at night and then the following day i'll be in utica new york for a signing from one to three uh, in Utica, New York. So if you're in, in the Utica area, please come out uh, to that as well. That's all up on my Instagram, the appearances and the information on where they're at on that. So just going to be cool, do some pictures and autographs for everybody and, uh, you know, be good. To, I got appearances every weekend. I'll be in Amarillo, Texas at the Amarillo Comic Con, September 25th and 26th. And I believe we've got We've got dates being confirmed, I think like three or four other ones, Comic Cons. Uh, and probably, hopefully, I think they said they're going to probably have a lot more. So I don't know how those cons do uh, with all that and how things are doing with everything after the, the virus and everything. But 
it'll be cool to get out at least and uh, do some appearances once again. Yeah, I have. Do I listen to Russell Brand? I have heard some stuff from Russell. Absolutely. I think it was very similar mindsets on probably uh, on a lot of things. Uh, definitely. I think that's most people that once you like you kind of it's it's crazy. I think going vegan was the last step for me as far as of not it's not it's never the last step, but it was the big piece on on a lot of things um, that I was already kind of going down and uh, through learning and, and reading and, and listening to different books and whatnot. So yeah, I, I everything he puts out is is top notch. I feel like it's um and we need more people like him for sure and listening to him. And I think a lot of people with everything going on, I think that a lot of people that maybe were for the shutdowns and things early on or now are like, okay, this is very excessive and extreme. And uh, I could tell you one thing, the whole administration of, of what's going on, they need to be removed. That They are pure fucking evil, pure evil. And everything with Biden, I've never been into politics. And what I'm seeing, I'm so concerned with what and he's saying. Oh, our patience is wearing thin. Really? Because I, I can tell you there's millions and millions of people whose patience is gone. And that motherfucker won't. <laughs> that's something he, that's it's the tree he doesn't want to go barking up. I can tell you for sure. So we'll see what happens, though. He ain't no leader, though. And not to say that anyone in that position, it's a thankless job to begin with. But that guy is pure evil. That VP is pure evil. And they have they have the worst communication skills I've ever seen. Uh, and especially him and her with her nervous tick laugh when she can't, she's in, in, incapable of answering. You know, I don't know what it is with leaders too, where they're just like, where they, they're afraid to like, I'm afraid, you know, I, I, I don't want to speak on that at this time. Like why, at the very least, look people in the eyes and like, <laughs> like that. That's scary to me. So we'll see what happens, though. Like I said, there's plenty of people on this planet with nothing to lose at this point in time. So they got to be very careful on 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 how they how they handle situations and what they're doing and the verbiage they use because the verbiage they're starting to use now is getting it, it's it's not verbiage that should be being used. I love gold dust. Yes, changing topics rapidly. Do you like gold dust? But yeah, gold dust. I've always gotten along. I love gold dust. I think I think he's had, I mean, one of the most amazing careers, especially too with the ups and downs at, at different various points and overcoming everything. I think it's just a fantastic story. And you know, people, he's been around for a long, long time. Before he was gold dust, he was in WCW at a very, very young age. And so and now he's in an AEW doing what he's doing. I think it, it's truly remarkable. It's inspiring to know, like that's why, like there's, you could see, like you can, and he's 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 very very good. He has great psychology too. He's beat up though for sure. He was beat up in WWE. I remember his shoulder, was, if not both of them, I think were really really bad. If not, I think there was one though that was particularly bad. But um, obviously, the schedule is is much better these days for everybody. So. One of the greatest, not only a great career, but the Goldust character will go down in history of one of the all-time greats, especially from a character standpoint and uh, promos and in the ring and, and, and uh, translating that character in the ring. Because that's oftentimes it's very difficult for people uh, to figure out, especially like, you know, even Bray Wyatt, the Fiend. That's how talented Bray is in being able to transfer that character into a wrestling ring it's not always easy it's very difficult um and some people are, are a lot better at it than others it's like and just a, it's almost like to like the boogeyman the boogeyman with with marty great character but the boogeyman is is something that i feel like wrestling wise it's very difficult sometimes to how do you translate that into the into into a wrestler and i always thought thought the disconnect for boogeyman for me on his finishing move the pump handle slam was that the boogeyman shouldn't be doing a wrestling move as his finish it should be something where he's taking your soul or you know some sort of claw where your soul is leaving your body and 
where, you know, it, it's gimmicky, but the character's a gimmick where it would work, you know, or some sort of heart punch into something taking the, the, the person's soul and just heavily protecting that finish. And that when he wrestles and if he gets that on that, you know, I think it could have been done and made the character even stronger than it was. But that's just me with my pro wrestling psychology. You would have loved to see Ryback and RVD and tag teams. That, dude, there was that was that's a miss. That could have been a with weed me more. <laughs> and uh, he's the weed portion. I'm the me more. The because uh, <laughs> big guy ain't smoking the weed. The that's that's not happening. But Papa Papa Shango as well. Another fantastic character. Santino's finishing move was probably one of the weirdest, you say, Chris. And yeah, no, definitely that was a gimmick move that was as over as anything, though. And I can tell you that from experience that in being at the shows with the Cobra and uh, people would go crazy for it. And it's one of those deals. It's just the character. He's so good. There was there was essentially nothing he couldn't do. Um, and people loved him. And I thought it was... Uh, it was. It, I thought it was just. A, I thought. It, I, I honestly. I loved. I loved the finish for him for that. I thought it worked. He can't have everybody like that, but a special talent. Yes. You want me to rate my weekend? What am I rating my weekend on a scale of one to ten? It's not even. I planted a, a peach tree yesterday. I planted my orange tree. Came in a couple days early. The orange tree just got planted about an hour and a half ago. So my weekend's going great. I've got my Starbucks coffee. I'm 17 hours into a fast. I'm going to be breaking that tonight. Life is good. Life is good. I should work in WWE as Skip Sheffield and AEW as Ryback, the two faces. <laughs> that would be something else, huh? My longest fast is 72 hours that I've ever done. Jose, I'm anticipating to be, uh, I hope the blood work comes back well for you, buddy. Try not to be nervous. Uh, Ryback, I want to be like the big guy. What brand of Omega-3 do you buy on Amazon? I buy, I don't, I got to post the picture of it. I'll, I'll post it after on my Instagram stories after this. I forgot to do it the other day. Um, it's an algae-based Omega-3. I almost don't like posting some of that stuff because what happens is, and I've had this happen. When I share the things that I buy, some of these companies then raise the price because a bunch of people buy them where they then they they go, oh, the demand is more. So they they raise their damn prices. I've had it happen on things. And I go, shit, man, you guys suck. Not you guys, the companies. It's like, stop it. <laughs> but if you get an algae-based omega-3, that they're all the same, essentially. Uh, I've never heard of the tur A hey, Rob, thank you for the super chat. Thoughts on Turkosterone supplement. I'm not sure what that is, so I could not give you. I would have to look that up on what that is exactly. Do I like round table pizza? I'm pretty sure that's the the. I've heard of that. Seen it's where you can get cheap pizza for feeding families, right? Qualities probably is is. I don't know how high the quality is. Um, also, again, not vegan. So health wise, it's absolute shits for you. Yeah, 72 hour fast is very challenging. Um, is 330 uh normal for testosterone? I believe that's at the very low end of the range, depending on what the, the range is usually low 300s. There's a range in there. I don't know if it's 315 or 320 something or three, even 30, and it goes up to like 1100. Um, you'd be at the, the lower end range, and again. You could be normal if you feel normal and have no symptoms of anything. You're not tired. You don't have a low sex drive. You could be perfectly normal. Typically, though, you'll have symptoms, and everyone's different uh, that. But um, typically, you want to be in, in four or five, six hundred, seven hundred that range. Um, 
but as you get older, that, that, that number goes down. But, and again, I think a lot of diet and a lot of the other factors get go into that, but you would probably be a candidate for a TRT at some point. Uh, and it would be very worthwhile to um, probably schedule an appointment with a board certified endocrinologist or what I would recommend is following who's really, really good is the anabolic doc on, he's on my Instagram, Dr. Thomas O'Connor, the anabolic doc. If you, he's, I'm following him. You can find him on my account and uh, he has programs and he, he is a very, very educated, smart doctor on TRT, HRT with the hormone replacement therapy on and not in, in working with people and keeping them on the normal ranges. And he's a brilliant, brilliant man. I would stay from the fish oil pills and go with the omega. The fi- the the algae based ones are are superior, and that is where fish are getting their omegas from. Sarah says you look hard on the outside but soft on the inside. I think that is. Uh, I think I'm very well balanced and well rounded. I think I've learned a long time ago that I'm very secure with myself. Also. I think oftentimes people, uh, and I, I, I can be very violent and very aggressive. I already know that. Um, and I, I learned to control that as much as possible. But also, uh, I think, and you see this with people, once they're comfortable with themselves, they're then comfortable just showing whatever emotion naturally comes up. I think oftentimes, especially, in, you see this in wrestlers, like t- and I, I see it all the time with people, where they're playing a certain character and they're afraid to just be themselves and they get they they feel like they have to like i gotta be tough all the time if i talk to you because if i am not then you might not think i'm really tough and that's just insecurity with that because that has no bearing on how you act in a fight situation or anything like that and, in the, and that comes in with have being i think at a certain intelligence level and a knowledge and, and self-learning and, and self-development where i can tell jokes and be funny and this and that and or attempt to be funny and not worry about man that Ryback's nothing like I thought he was when he's on TV because I already know that when I go back to that situation and I turn it back on people believe because it's your actions that they believe in in the moment that if I'm in the ring kicking ass nobody's gonna be like oh my god he I can't believe this guy who's so funny is also very mean and scary no you just whatever the the situation is is a situation and then and there's, you don't have to be that way all the time. You know, I'm not going to act how I act in a certain particular situation for wrestling when I'm doing a food review in my car. That's stupid. That's fake. And that's being fake. I like being real. And that's where I think that and I've learned to embrace that and be myself fully on social media. And I don't worry about like what people think or that because the, and the people that like you, like you and the people that don't, don't, but at least they like you or don't like you for being yourself rather than a role you're playing or something. Right. So. Umar with the question of the day, who will triumph a polar sized R-Truth versus penguin sized John Cena R-Truth all day long. Joke of the day. I like these. I like the Umer bringing me with the, the scenarios. And now Ma- Mike bringing me the joke of the day. What did the frog say when the car broke down? I need to get it towed. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to save that one for when I'm in a situation and I need to tell a really corny joke. But I like corny jokes. So, Oh, Turk- Rob, thank you, buddy. Turkesterone is a plant-based steroid. I've not, I've not heard of it. I'll have to look it up and see. Um, Turkesterone. But I think with any of that stuff, like even the plant-based things, and I just think you got to, I don't know. I think those things can, I don't know. Anything with steroids like that. It, it, I don't know. I would have to look and see, but I mean, if it if it doesn't have any hormonal impacts uh, on you, and and you you know that through blood work, but you never know. 
with that kind of stuff. So it's always it's probably best not to to do it. Would probably be my guess. Yeah, uh, somebody is asking, am I going to watch Ho Holyfield, the fights tonight? Yeah, I didn't even know this was going on until the other day. Um, probably not. I ordered the, the Jake Paul Woodley fight. And uh, even though I do kind of want to, I, I, the, the two fights, I do want to see Ortito and Anderson and uh, Box and uh, also um Vitor and uh, Holyfield. I used to love Evander Holyfield when I was younger. He was man, that guy's a machine. But he's like 58 years old now. I don't know. He's always in fantastic shape. But I know Vitor's quite a bit younger than him, so that's a that that's interesting. I could be I, I'm hoping I'm hoping for the best with all of those. I I'm, I'm very tempted. I got my shoulder appointment though 415, so Silva Surfer, thank you for the super, super chat. Hey, Ryback, I've been kind of down lately. How do you stay positive with all the bad things when bad things, when all the bad things are happening to you? You got to try to find a way to, to shift uh, into a positive mindset and also how we talk to ourselves and like, um, you know, like, I'll, and I'm just going to give you an example of something the other day. So I felt like I maybe there were some things like uh, a string, like my, so my truck the other day driving my truck, my, my passenger side uh, window. And I've had this happen in my back windows of my truck, the regulator on it went out uh, and my window, when I went to roll it down, fell down. Um, and I go instantly, I go, ah, shit. Cause I've already had to get those fixed twice on the truck on two other windows. Uh, and, and it's, it's, it's a little bit, they're pretty pricey for that. And, uh, and I also, my, my rear, back rear tire uh, sensor has been out and I needed to get that fixed anyways. So I'm like, shit, that's almost, that's a like hundred and something, almost a couple hundred bucks. So that happens. And I go, oh man, it kind of was like, I was like, damn it. I hate when like, just something like that I was on my way to the gym. And I like that completely disrupted the day when that happened. I was like, well, we're calling an audible on that. And I got to go get this fixed. I can't have my window down. Uh, I got to go take this to the shop. But and then my pool, I noticed my pool level had risen and the and it, water was leaking somewhere and it ended up having, we had to get a part replaced on, on it. But anyways, so what I'm getting at is I instantly, like, like it would have been really easy to get like in a negative mood. I'm like, oh man, this bad stuff's happening to me. I just, just instantly just shifted out of it. And like, you know what? I'm grateful. I'm in a position to be able to get this stuff changed and it, you know, I just I just shifted my mindset on. I chose not to feel bad about it. Um and and it just and it and it felt good. And like my trees came and I got to plant my trees and I, I was in a good mood. And but I, I put my attention on other things to put me in a good mood. And so that's what I'm kind of getting at with this is things bad things are gonna happen to all of us at very varying levels, right? The key is to try to get our mind off of it as quickly as possible, if possible. Um, and, and focus on things that make us happy. Because if we dwell on the negative, it has the tendency to bring more negatives to us. Does that make sense? And, and, and I've learned that. And so we try not to harp and, and focus on those negatives um, and do things and stay active. Because if we freeze up and we stop moving, that's where things get working. You know, go, get a, go, go do a hard workout. Go do something. Get out, go meet a friend, and, and don't talk about the bad things. Talk about solutions or good things, and you'll 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 feel better. And that feeling better will carry over to other things. And that's what I've learned: is trying to do things or have a conversation that feels good, not a conversation bitching about the bad. Does that make sense? We all do it. It's all. It's not. But being aware of that, and that will then you get a good night's rest. You wake up and you're in a better mood. Then something, boom, something good happens and you're you're out of it. But you gotta, you, you can't dwell on the negative as much as possible. But that would be my advice. Super chat. Who is your favorite WWE wrestler right now? Currently. 
I think what Roman Roman and the Usos are doing is really, really good. I think Roman is is really, really doing a, a fantastic job. Very, and <clears throat> I just think overall from everything, Roman is uh, top notch. Much better in this role as a heel with everything. And, you know, maybe it's the way everything has been booked over the years. But he's uh, he's definitely, I enjoy Roman in the heel role, role over the baby face role. And that's not to say he can't go back and, and I think he can go back and be a bigger baby face when this is all done. Um, but this is really, really allowing him to be more comfortable. And I think that's showing on camera. Think of puppies in a field of pillows. I love it. Puppies are always, and that's another thing, my dogs, too, if something bad or something, I'm upset over something, you know, you, you give your dog some hugs and kisses and cuddles, you start feeling a little better if you're a dog person like me. And, uh, and focusing and realizing, trying to keep our attention on the important things in life, you know, that's why I don't get caught up in, like, the fame part. Like, it's all bullshit. It's all fucking bullshit. That's why I was okay walking away. Like, I'm not, like, where I'm okay. Like, I'm not, like, worried about what people think or, like, that's why people tell me, like, oh, you, oh, you're so irrelevant. Okay, cool. I don't care. I know I'm not, but if I am, who cares? I'm happy. So, you know, and it was a decision I made, too, right? So it's just, it's just something when you're peaceful mindset. That's another thing I've learned, too. Like, that's why I planted a lot more trees that having a lot of life around your house or your environment instantly increases the vibe, the vibration and the mood, the positive energy. And that's why, and I've noticed the more plants and trees I'd put around my house, my backyard is so peaceful now compared to what it used to be when it was more desert. And, uh, and as those trees get bigger and bigger and more life grows into them, it's going to just increase the, the environment. And it provides nice shade with this damn desert heat, which with global, global warming and the climate crisis is going to be much needed in the future. OG Steven, thank you for the super chat. Ryback to AEW confirmed. I want to see you versus Cage. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, I got a feeding time. I actually thank you for reminding me. I got to send it off to my guy. That'll be a new feeding time video. Will be out Monday morning. What was my video this week? Oh, I did a uh, Vegano's mukbang, a burger and burrito mukbang, uh, California burrito and a, an impossible burger with fries. So I've had those before from Vegano's, but never together. So that's why the, the title of the video will be a burrito and burger mukbang, mukbang with fries. Uh, fun question, Ryback, if you today... Could time travel back to 10 years ago? What are three things you would tell him? What I would tell myself? Nothing. I wouldn't do it because then I wouldn't be able to go back to the future that I'm in right now. Does that make sense? I wouldn't go back and tell myself anything because that would alter the past and the way things would work out. And then I don't know if I would be able to go back into the future. I don't know where I would end up. It would completely change everything. So nothing. If I got sent back in time to tell myself anything, I would just stare at myself and then disappear back to exactly where I am right now. My shoulder, a lot of people, I won't ever change the past. A lot of people, well, what would you change in your past? Fucking nothing. I, it happened. I dealt with it. I live with it, good or bad. Too many people, oh, I, want, I wish I can go back and change that. Nope been confident in anything that's ever happened at any point. Fame is lame. Green is game. Yeah. I, I've often said, I think a lot of people sometimes too, they want wealth and then they go, they get fame to get wealth. And then they realize they don't want the fame. Fame is not cool. Fame now comes does have a lot of positives as far as impact if you use it for good. But it's I I think it would if you if you honestly if we're talking massive wealth and you could tell me would you rather have ten billion 
dollars and be famous or $10 billion and nobody knows who you are outside of maybe just whatever you do on your own, like social media, I would choose the social media, just live my life with the wealth because you'd be able to do, make the impact that you want and have business and grow, earn more money. I love entrepreneurship with that. Now, don't get me wrong. It is, there's, being famous does have its perks at times, but for the most part, it's not as, it's not, it's not what people think with any of that. And it attracts, and as much good as it can attract, it attracts a lot of bad at the same time as well. And that's where it comes self-development. And you got to learn to like just block and shut it down. And, you know, I still deal with, you know, people every day. It's it could, massive love and then massive hate. To this day, people still send messages. God, I wish you were dead. I hope you never go back to wrestling. God, you're the worst. Whatever. Just horrible messages. It's not me. It's them. I already know it's not anything I've done. They're insecure and unhappy with themselves. And for whatever reason, my presence triggers their insecurities as it does with anybody else who's famous or doing something uh, of anything in their life. And I go, that is them not being able to deal with their own unhappiness or whatever emotions that they have. It's not my problem. And I block and no hate. I just let them deal with their problems and help them hopefully not get distracted with me because clearly my presence is a distraction in their life. As well, I'm sure they got many more distractions as well that they let know on social media as well. But the best thing we could do is block those people to make their lives a little better. And sometimes they choose to make multiple accounts. And then we're dealing with obsessive people that really, really have some deep, deep insecurities and issues. But again, it's not my problem. And I'll never, I look at it like I never will let them take away from my happiness ever. It's not worth it. Jose, there's a lot of vegan. There are vegan options for tuna. I've had them here in Vegas at some of the places. I don't know how they make them. They're, they're very, I had a tuna, what I, I had a tuna melt. It was absolutely like, it was so good. Uh, no butcher has it. I don't know what they use, but if you follow no butcher on my Instagram and maybe shoot them a DM and ask them what they make, what they use to make their tuna, their vegan tuna, I'm sure they will. They'll, they'll let you know the ingredients they use. Maybe, I don't know if they if it's a secret recipe, but they may be able to give you at least some, some information on that. That's what I would do personally if you want to know how to make it. There is a tuna alternative called uh, Tuno on Amazon in a similar texture taste. I like it a lot. I'm going to check that out. Thank you very much. That'll be a good, uh, with the vegan mayo, I could do uh, some tuna sandwiches for feeding time for one of my performance meals. Yo, Man of Steel, Justin, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well, having a good weekend. Um. Nicholas goes, hey, big guy, what do you think about Punk and Brian come back? And are we ever going to see you again in the ring? Uh, yes, you will, I promise you. And I'm very happy for both of them that they're in AEW. Um, I haven't seen, like, I wasn't, I had my shoulder session last week during the majority of the uh, AEW pay per view. Um, but from the little that I saw from the Punk match, he looked good. So um, and I'm hoping, uh, yeah that everything is good. I know I talked to Miro and Miro said Punk seemed in, like very happy, very happy to be back. So that's a good thing. I think mentally when we knew him before, he was mentally fried physically and mentally. So, and you know, just, there's definitely personal stuff. I'm not happy with, and I, I will never, never not defend myself over because they're lies. But if he's in a better place mentally, I'm, I'm all for that because I think it's very beneficial to pro wrestling that those two guys are in AEW, yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a really good tuna, do some tuna, tuna sandwiches for feeding. Feeding time. Who is my favorite all-time football player? Uh, so when I was younger, Jerome Bettis uh, and Kurt Warner were uh, favorite running back and uh, quarterback. Tom Brady, though, I'm going to go with Jerome Bettis, Kurt Warner, and Tom Brady. 
OG Steven says, can you do the Skip Sheffield? Yep, yep, yep. I absolutely can. That character it isn't Skip Sheffield didn't just say yep, yep, yep. He goes, yep, yep, yep. What'd it do? Skip Sheffield, it was never just yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. What'd it do? Shoot. Skip Sheffield, Call Station, Texas. Corn fed meathead. Yep, yep, yep. What'd it do? Hustle with muscle. Skip Sheffield was fun because I could literally say and do anything I wanted and be as stupid as I wanted. And it was, it, people would laugh. And then I was a big jacked up guy and they would believe the offense. It was a fun, that was a fun character. Uh, I like the no evil chicken. Yes. I like to use about uh, 50 grams of protein a day from them on that. <clears throat> Uh, I played against, uh, what's his name, was the running back, um, Is it for he was the Rams. I played against him quite a bit in high school. I think he played for the Eldorado, Eldorado Sun Devils, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Steven, Steven Jackson, but he was the running back for the Rams um, for, for many years. He We played against him. Big guy has some tackles on Steven Jackson growing up. He was good. He was really good. Obviously. <laughs> does pineapple belong on pizza? It, it, it surely does for the people that, that that like it on there. I've had both, with or without. It's good it, with it and good without it. There's nothing, there's no, what you will learn in life, there is no right or wrong. There's only what we believe. I learned that many, many years ago and find that to be very, very true. I do have an Instagram, the big guy Ryback22. We are not streaming on there today, unfortunately, because uh, my streaming has been. Uh, I'm. I guess I'm. I'm in Instagram jail. I guess for a po. I don't even know what for. I've not got any notifications, but apparently my content is violating community standards and guidelines. I don't know how any of the lives would be involved in that on any of that, but. I would imagine maybe on talking about the COVID or the president at one of the, on one of the whatever video, maybe the last one we did, I don't know. Which is crazy that how that would even be a, a thing. Yeah, so thank you. The bioaccelerator thermo, you guys, just so again, you guys know, I have Feed Me More Nutrition ones coming, these exact ones. This exact model, same size with the bamboo top. I will have these on feedmemore.com uh, with the Feed Me More Nutrition Hungry logo and the feedmemore.com logo on the bottom uh, for you guys. I'm And I've got gym bags, those little uh, carry gym bags, not the big gym bags, the duffel, the satchels, I guess, whatever you call them, where they, the string, the drawstring gym bags. I've got those uh, coming as well to uh, feedmemore.com for Feed Me More Nutrition. We got a ton. We got lifting straps, workout gloves, the half gallon jugs, the shaker bottles, face mask, ankles. Really, the workout socks again. They're super comfortable as well. You guys, if you guys check out those, I wear. I've got a drawer full of the Feed Me More Nutrition Hungry socks now, uh, and everyone I've given them to, they go, "These are super comfortable. They're super stretchy, and like they're." I'm telling you, we've. Uh, I like just getting high quality stuff and throwing the logo on it. So, uh, to because a lot of people love the accessories as well as the supplements. So, check those all out as along with Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, I like the blackout, the blackout stuff too. And, uh, the logo, it's, uh, I like the blackout stuff. And that's what we're, I've got to get, I got to get red workout towels still to come in also. I was thinking of doing a red and green Christmas workout towel. Then I go, well, will people use those past Christmas? I don't know. But we're going to do a bunch of different colors and people can collect them and with everything. I think that stuff's cool to do, like in limited edition stuff. And then, you know, you look back and it's always cool. You say, like, well, I got everything and stuff. And I give away a lot of that for free, too. So, you know. Thank you very much for the love and support. 
Who's my favorite Hall of Famer? Probably Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. I never did have a chance to, to work with Eddie Guerrero, no, unfortunately. Money says it's because you post a lot of crazy and random things on Instagram. The it's it's the, not the funny stuff. I, I have a feeling it was for something with COVID, uh, and nothing that was ever. I've not posted anything wrong either. So it's I, I'm very interested in seeing. I'm gonna I want to see the exact reason why uh, whatever's going on is going on. Very because obviously, and I stream on TikTok. Nothing, and I post the same content on TikTok. Nothing's going on there, right? So it's a little suspicious with that. But and YouTube too. So, but we're living in crazy times. Yeah, I've met The Rock multiple times. A great guy. He was always very nice in person. Hello, hello, hello. Who's the best wrestler I've ever been in the ring with? I'm going to go Bret Hart, even though I didn't get to wrestle. He just gave me a chair shot during the, the Nexus 8-on-8 eight eight SummerSlam main event. But I've got I've been in the ring with Bret Hart. Not many people from today could say that. Me, the Nexus guys, and Heath Slater. Heath got to wrestle him, actually, on some shows. I was jealous of that. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to say you, you've been in a match against Bret Hart. That's... In, Pretty damn cool. I did not retire. I don't know where you re what you read or have heard. I have not retired. I'm returning. I'm almost all better. I've just got a little ways left to go. The crowd here is different. Uh, an afternoon versus night. Yeah, you never know what we're gonna get. The crowd. I did usually. I do my my nightly recordings. I'm I'm doing the day today because I've got to go do my shoulder at four fifteen. And by the time I get back from that, and I don't know if I'm going to go out later to go see the guys with Dolphin Town and, and Miro, because that'd be good. Get some good, get some pictures with the guys. That will stir speculation of my return even further, which will help feed me more nutrition sales. So it probably would be smart to go out and see them. I like Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson's a great wrestler, yeah. Let me see. How does it feel to be the one dude who ate the potato chips and it turned into a big meme? Uh, I think it's a cool thing, actually, because that I it's crazy. So all celebrities are memes in different ways. There's and I've had wrestling memes, everyone so. I, I'm fascinated by, there's a portion of people that think like if you're a meme, that it's a bad thing. Maybe if, if it's like, you know, like, so say like a fighter, like a, the Conor McGregor memes that are going around that when you get knocked out or any fighter, like, but people are going to make what they're going to make. Attention is attention. And those videos were made for attention. 100. I, I, Talk about it, especially at that time. I literally said what I'm doing and learning about marketing and doing these videos. That video and that popularity of that, and once I especially go back to TV, is probably going to land me a huge endorsement deal of some sort with that company. If so, I, 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 or if I do more chips videos, that's because now we already know that people that have, that has people's attention, right? So, like, it, I think it's an amazing, cool thing. And I'm all for it. I want people to make more memes of me. I had, when I went to Starbucks the other day, the girl that I go, she goes, she's known me for years and she just knows me from wrestling. She goes, it's so crazy. She goes, one of my friends the other day sent me this chip meme, just like, oh, because we were talking about something, they were something with chips and he sent this meme and she goes, oh my God, that's Ryback. And he, the guy that sent it knew me as the chips guy. She knew me as Ryback, but she goes, congratulations on being a meme. That's awesome. Like, like that's there's people that just she's just a normal everyday person with common sense and like and then there's people that think like being a meme is like they're like oh man yo my man fell hard he went from being in WWE to being a meme that's not the case 
And that's, but that's how people like, that's it's such a gap in people's mindsets with that. Right. You know, now would it be is, and I think it depends on like how you're looking at it. You know, a guy that walked away from wrestling and makes more money and has his own successful supplement company that started with three supplements that now up to 13 has, has multiple revenue streams through social media and, and YouTube and, and, uh, TikTok and doing different things with that and going back to wrestling as well as investments and other things that, but like, that's a different thing in doing videos for attention and content that you get paid for. Right. Rather than if I was like, say I just made a video and only say, I didn't even make YouTube, say I didn't have YouTube, but I just made a video being depressed, eating chips and sad and I wasn't doing anything with my life and I was out of shape, right? That would be a little different. Like if I was really fat and out of shape and I'd fallen and like was my, an alcoholic maybe doing drugs and I'm eating chips, that would be a different video than that video would have a different meaning, right? And then where that maybe those people would be more justified. Like my man fell hard, but that's not the case. And I know it's not the case. So I just laugh at that. I'll just block him because I was like, oh, you guys don't have any clue on like what's going on. So. And also this, all this stuff that I've done. And when I go back to TV, you have to understand it's going to skyrocket me to all levels wealth wise people. I just laugh because I've already done all the hard work and laid all the groundwork and have all the revenue streams coming in. It's just going to get way more attention. And I'm just going to sit back and go, this is awesome and keep grinding and keep doing the same things I've been doing. So I love the chips video with the chips meme. I hope you guys make more memes of me. Go to my other food videos. Please make more memes of me. The more memes you make of me, the more attention you give me, the more organic traffic you bring me to feedmemore.com, the more sales I get, the more lifelong customers I get because we keep we have an 80 something percent retain retainment on customers because they love the supplements. Please, please keep making them and doing it. I I, I, I I'm begging you, please. I love it. <laughs> so I'm I'm all for the memes, dude. All for it. Hello, hello. Uh, I've never tried to make homemade chips. I don't. I I don't eat chips in general. I just ate chips for that video with that. So I do want to get some. Um, they have the the Lay's ketchup chips in Canada. I'm going to order those off of Amazon. And my next chips ASMR is going to be the the ketchup Lay's, I believe, which I'm going to do that pretty soon. See, like right here, like this guy, Rybot, a.k.a. Rybotch. I just do that, and I go block, and I never have to worry about that person ever again. It doesn't, and like, there's no hate, nothing. I just think that person just clearly is in a negative mindset. If you don't like me or you think that about me, don't watch the channel, right? Don't listen. But they can't because they can't control their, themselves and their urges. My future is looking very bright. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. I literally know nothing about Drake or Kanye outside. I saw a little bit of Kanye, like on the Joe Rogan thing show. I don't, I don't know. I honestly could, I don't know anything about those guys. Thank you very much for the love and support. Could I shell shock Paul White today? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't, what do you think? I'm literally like I'm healthier than I was when I was wrestling guys. Of course. Um, Trying to see what other good questions. Uh, you're not even just a meme. You became an emote on Twitch. I don't even know what that is. Can you? What? I, I think I got. I got to look that up. What is? Is that? It's just a little icon. Is it my face? 
eating chips, I would imagine. Yeah, I would avoid artificial sweeteners and preservatives as much as possible, yes. Uh, will I be doing a signing in St. Louis? I would imagine at some point uh, I will, yes. I'm. Um, they've got one in Harrington, Texas, I think, coming up soon. Uh, that's in November, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I got to get the dates and I got to put everything in my calendar, update my, my wrestling calendar. I have a lot of signings coming up, though. Here, I'm going to be doing – so check in on my, my Instagram stories or Twitter. I'll put a post up on Twitter today for next week, to, I'm going to pin, and I'll pin that probably so we can get uh, – you guys can see my appearances coming up in New York next week. Uh, and this is going to be the first ones I've done in, in three years. Ever since Sophie with her injuries, I couldn't travel. And uh, now I'm having the mother home full-time. I'm able to uh, leave and travel um, and do appearances again. So – uh, before I go back to wrestling, it'll be good to get around some wrestling again too and get the brain working. And, uh, as far as on that end of things until we get the final clearance on the shoulder. We got new shirts also on Teespring for everybody that listens to the show. I've got the new hungry red and yellow with the blue R, uh, uh, very Hulk Hogan-ish shirt, but with the blue R, so it's not stealing his colors completely. But uh, Hungry, and they're on black shirts as well. We've got new Hungry with Hungry on the front and Feed Me More on the back. Check those out on Teespring, uh, the Feed Me More store on Teespring here on Ryback TV. You can actually access those sh the shirts, the merch store on my YouTube. Just when they have the advertisement for the shirts, just click on the store, and it should be the newest shirt, the Hungry Feed Me More shirt. I eventually got to wait for it to get clearance and then I'll be able to move that shirt onto the profile image. So you could actually just click directly on it from YouTube, but that's the easiest way to access it. Go to Ryback TV on YouTube and the feed me more store on there will pop up. That's where you can get all the Ryback t-shirts and stuff. And like, we got a guy here that says, shut up. And I go, okay, uh, I'll help myself shut up for you. Um, and block you because it's a show in my show. And the last thing I need to do is shut up on my talk, my talk show. I love Khabib. Unbelievable dominance and in, in career. I would love to see Connor come back and win the title and then have the rematch with Khabib. I think that would be the, the biggest drawing fight of all time, obviously. I love uh, I love what AEW is doing right now, and it's it's creating. I, I think pro wrestling for the first time in a long time has a, a newfound excitement for not only the wrestlers but the fans, and uh, and I think their ratings are going to continue to go up. And I do not. I told you guys this a, a little over a year ago. Now I said I go AEW is going to be beating Raw and SmackDown in the ratings at some point, and I firmly believe that is the case. Unless I was to randomly go back to WWE, but I don't think that's ever, ever going to happen. Nor do I want it to. I know you as IC title. Did you get to keep the title, uh, OG Steven? I have the IC championship upstairs in my case, yes. Uh, no. Would I, would I consider stepping into a boxing match against a celeb for a huge payday? So no, and the reason why for that is is because one that would take away from my my shoulder stuff right now. I can't even do that the boxing training. I stopped that years ago with everything with my shoulder to get it better. I'm not doing anything until the shoulder's better. And then what I'm doing is I'm going back to pro wrestling that I walked away from with that. I'm not the money doesn't. I don't care about the money. I have the money and I have my supplement line and I do the stuff ad revenue in my supplement line. I'm fine with that. I want to go back to pro wrestling and finish what I started in that. So. That's not to say at some point down the line, if there was a, if I had the time to devote to the training, and that's something you got to take very, very seriously. That's morning to night. That's like going to lockdown mode, morning to night training camps all the way around on that for something like that. And that's why I think the big, the big thing with a lot of people, I love boxing, and I and I feel that that that's I feel that 
could be very, very good at that. And I'm very comfortable striking with that. But there's so many different elements and skills that go into that and in movements and, and avoiding being hit and combinations. And But endurance, I love that I have endurance. And that's why I love boxing because it is too – it's, it's a game of, of trying to get the other person to tire out and whatnot. But I just like the training with all of that and go back to pro wrestling. I like, I like physical acting. I like, I like the entertainment aspect of it. And I like the aspect of you're not really doing brain damage to yourself outside of, you know, if you, there's chair shots, all that stuff's not, not what it used to be. Right. So like I got my health back and go back to pro wrestling and have fun and make a shit ton of money in the process with everything I'm doing. But it's fun helping people. Like, I love what I do now, too. Like this and helping people and helping people change their lives or their mindsets. It's more powerful than wrestling to me. But I, I love wrestling and the entertainment aspect of it. Is, and, and people get from that as well. I don't know when I'm going to hit 1 million subscribers on here. We just hit 360,000 on Ryback TV, so thank you guys. But that's going to come from people sharing the channel and watching the videos and get new subscribers and it, it slowed down a bit again. So I honestly, I, you know, we'll hit 400,000. Hopefully it would be nice to hit 400,000 by the end of the year, but we'll have to, I'll have to get a, go on another growth spurt here, which we're like on a downtrend <clears throat> with that. But all it takes is like one video really getting red hot and, and it can really up the channel. Thank you very much, Jose. Greatly appreciated. Uh, no, I was not nervous about becoming a pro wrestler. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, as far as like, I think it just, you want to do something, you just do it. But I'm sure it's uncertainty on, you know, throughout your career, developmental and the training, it, especially with how difficult it was with the, with the deep South wrestling, but overcame all of that and just remained positive and worked hard and it all worked out. Mark 1010 says, if you thank you for the super chat, um, if you saw somebody put a gun to their head, would you intervene or stay back? Abs Honestly, at this point in time, I've learned unless it's in a, a situation where it's a split second decision of making a difference not to get involved because you see a lot of people that get killed this day and age. I, so here's, and I'm going to, I'm going to explain to you where I think a lot of people make the mistake. And I think it's selfish. Would you rather help a situation and risk losing your life and then losing your family, losing you? I think if we truly love our family and those are loved ones and friends, they come first before everybody else. Does that make sense? So where people like, well, I'm going to risk my life for a person I don't know and take away from my family possibly. Now, unless it's a situation, you know, like the, you know, Al Snow just did a great heroic feat. Uh, uh, Al Snow, the trainer and owner, one of the owners of OVW, was in the ocean and a, a kid was getting pulled out uh, by a riptide and he didn't think the lifeguard was going to be able to make it. And he risked his life essentially and it actually got pulled under and but they were able to get out and the kid was saved by the lifeguard got the kid and now was fine uh and like something like that is different in my opinion over that because the odds are are, are greater because you have a sense of control whereas we're dealing with a gun unless you're right there and it's just something where you're impacted right away other than that intervening in a situation where you're going to get killed or a high light highly high possibility that you're going to get killed I think in a way it could really be like you're taking yourself away from your family. That's fucking selfish. And that's how I look at things and think about things. And I think that oftentimes, and I'm going to go further on this, is oftentimes we'll see people that will raise money for a situation. And we see it all the time. Like you raise money for the homeless people or then, and but you don't even take care of your own fucking family. What if you, you might have a family member that's struggling and you're raising money to give to this food company or something rather than just giving the money to them. Why help you help your circle first and then, but like something like that with a gun, man, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm more than likely. And I've learned in like seeing if it doesn't directly involve me and there's not like, it's a situation that like, I'm not going to intervene and put myself in a situation to get killed 
when I have a family to take care of that relies on me, right? And that's and I believe having that understanding and importance allows you to, to make have clarification on decisions you're going to make. But if it's a split second thing and boom, 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 that's different. Rather than like if you're driving and you see somebody at gunpoint and you go, I'm going to fucking pull my car over and I'm going to go, hey, buddy, you better put that gun away or else I'm going to shell shock you. Pew, pew, pew. Fucking blood and guts all over the road. Ryback dead. I think that's fucking dumb. Right? So there's not a clear cut answer on it, but more than likely I'm not getting involved. Ryback, you got to apply for a villain role of the Lord of the Rings TV series. I don't know if I should be comp- take that as a compliment or be offended that you think I look like a character off the Lord of the Rings. I've not watched any episode of Heels, no. I didn't even know that was a thing until the other day, actually. You're actually so smart. Never thought about that. Thank you, Dan. No, this is how I, I feel like I look at things from a very logical, common sense approach through things that I've learned and books I've read and listened to that and we see it all the time with with people and things that like, you know, why? Take care of your circle first. And if everybody did that, the world would be a far better place, right? And I'm very aware of that. I have a, I have people that rely on me, and my success in in is 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 then the efforts that I put into my success in my life directly impacts other people. And I believe, and I want to have a much greater impact at a much higher level. And that's the other thing. I want massive wealth. I want to be a billionaire. I want I want to be a trillionaire. I I have that drive, and the reason why is so because the world is really really screwed up. And the only way, you, you can't implement change without money. And a lot of people like to bitch and complain about things. This is why I don't give a shit about politics. The whole thing is screwed up. I want to be so goddamn wealthy that I have money to have change for good. Because I believe I have a good heart and understand what good is. And I believe there's a lot of capitalism for bad that must be destroyed with that. How am I going to fight that? I need ultra wealth. That's the only way to combat it. I can give you my ideas and theories and things on what we need to do all day long. And we we change the world by our individual decisions. That's why Go Vegan is one of the biggest things we could do to start implementing positive change. The climate crisis, the factory farming going on. That's one of the main things that I, I could I can contribute to you right now. Living it, what I might preach, my hungry mindset. But creating ultra wealth is the only way to directly impact these things. Massive wealth with that. Because what's happened is too many bad people have ultra wealth right now, and they're pulling the strings with that. So that's kind of where I'm going with everything and why I, the decisions that I make. And, and that's why I, and when I, when I answer questions, this stuff is all figured into my answers. And I don't care what anybody thinks about it. I already know who and what I am, and I know what I'm doing. And I, and I have, doesn't stop me. It won't stop the game plan. It won't alter anything. Just keep marching forward. I think we got another super chat pulling up. Mark says, thanks for answering my question, man. I'd love to have a meal and a few pints with you. It would probably turn into uh, a large meal of many, many pints as well. It would, it would, that would no doubt be a good time. Thank you very much, though. Very, very much. I greatly appreciate that. Ryback, do you think you can go to AEW and pass Goldberg's 173 wins and start your own streak? Interesting. Interesting question there. We will have to see. That'd be pretty cool to to have a huge undefeated streak, actually having good storytelling and dominant matches, dominant wins, and but also competitive matchups. That hasn't been done before. And I think I'm more than capable because I've already done it of doing that. 
uh, supernatural law. To me, people who take care of outsiders before their own loved ones are looking for adulation and not genuinely helping. Yeah, I, I agree. I think and that's how I look at things. And I, I look, I break it down. I go, what's the fucking deal with that? Right. It's uh, it, it's you got to and take care, take care of yourself and your loved ones. And that's the other thing. Self-love is so important. Most people don't love themselves. That's a huge thing that is missing. If everybody loved themselves, the world would be such a fucking better place. Too many people hate themselves. And that is a major, major issue. You got to love yourself. And, it, and there's different levels to all of this, but loving oneself is one of the greatest things that, the, that you could do to help the world. Because if you if you help yourself and you love yourself and are true to yourself, you will be able to, to and you you learn yourself, you will be able to impact positive change for others. Uh, no, don't type anything with that other show. I don't, I'm going to block you, dude. That guy, we don't even, Jesus. If you watch anything with me, watch my own Ryback TV on things that I've talked about. I've discussed everything in full on my channel. Any other channel talking about anything with me is there's so many lies in people that have done things for clickbait. And I tell you guys, the best thing you could do as wrestling fans is not read dirt sheets. Don't watch the shitty videos on YouTube by these people. They they literally are the problem with the wrestling business. And the best thing you could do is drown them out and not listen to them, not watch them. These people don't care about the wrestlers at all. All they care about is making money for clicks in dishonest ways. That's why they don't like me because I call them out on their bullshit. And I tell them, no, you go fuck yourselves. You're fucking frauds. They don't like that. And that's fine. What I'm not going to kiss people's ass and sit there. You, oh, thank you guys for putting lies out about me on my since the beginning of my career. Hell no. And if I meet any of them in person, they're going to have to deal with me in person if I find out who they are in person because it's absolute trash with that. But they, a lot of those places don't like me and they keep doing lies because I call them out on their bullshit. And I tell you guys, stop listening to them or reading them. You'll enjoy the wrestling so much better. I promise you. A lot of these people are borderline. I'm not. I'm not kidding. They are borderline mentally retarded. They're on that cusp of missing a chromosome. Stay away from them. They do not let that diseased, toxic mindset ruin your love of pro wrestling or how you look at the business. Hello, good to see all of you guys. Thank you very much, John, for the physique, physique compliment. Can I get Skip Sheffield on the podcast? That would be pretty funny to do a round of media as Skip Sheffield. I don't even know what Skip would talk about. I also know that I wouldn't have to think about anything, that whatever I would talk about would, would come very easily because Skip Sheffield could do or say no wrong. Yeah, I think the money, if me and Goldberg ever had a match, if it was his retirement match, I think that would be the only logical choice where I think with everything, I think that would be a huge money matchup for that. Granted, all parties would would, would be happy with, with everything in the contracts. Chris, yeah, I think the world you say you say that you think the world would be better if the media stayed out of everything. The media, so the media would be fine if the media simply only shared facts. The media is a business that makes money, and that is the whole problem with that. And then the ratings, and so they will, and the media, the media should be promoted. It's it's one thing to promote, you know, if you got a a murderer out on the loose. It's good to, to let the public know that, right? What's, what's bad, though, is when you just constantly are trying to create create fear around things where there's not shouldn't be fear for ratings and, and pushing out lies or agendas with all that. If the media just promoted love and positivity as well as sharing strictly facts, the media would be such an asset to this world. It's not anymore. And it, it's why it's, 
you hear it from all successful people and people that have their heads on straight. They say, stay away from it as much as possible. Get your news what you need to get to be informed on, and find something, and get, but stay the fuck away for the rest of the time. Because it, it's it's really, truly just poisonous. That's why I won't be friends. I'm not like people that I know that work for the news channels. Like I've met, I've, I, knew, I knew a woman that worked for Fox News. I had to just cut her off. She was literally trying to create and spread so much fake fear with COVID on, on her channels and, and making up stuff that I knew was made up. And I just got, you're trash, good riddance. I didn't tell her. I just, I just literally blocked her. No, she never, never could contact me ever again. I don't even want any, I'd like people that even, oh, that's just their job. Nope. You can, you can go find a job at a lot of other things. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, I still talk to Phoenix. Phoenix is doing great. Stem cells were 100% a life changer. I, they regrew all five discs in my back and my shoulders almost all better, which is, it's a lot of scar tissue, but I would not be uh, where I am or as happy as I am without those. Yeah, Logan, me and Ricky Starks did a backstage thing in Laredo when uh, I was doing the bowling stuff. He was he was a great guy. I've met him. I uh, saw him. He came to one of my gym uh, where I trained at here years ago. Um, this probably shit three or four years ago now, if not, yeah, right around that. And uh, I'm very happy for him. He's doing very, very good. My Sophie and little guy, Sophie's a Frenchie and little guy's a Boston Terrier. With that, guys, we're going to have to wrap up. I got to I gotta go do a few things and get ready. I got my shoulder session here uh, for my scar tissue uh, as I'm, I'm probably like 18 hours plus into a fast now. So uh, thank you as always. If you want to show your love and support, Feed Me More Nutrition, my premium supplement line on feedmemore.com. You could save 20% with discount code Ryback Show 20, Ryback Show 20. Also get a free shaker bottle and face mask right now for the month of September with your orders. Just click the free gift when it pops up on there. We have a lot of great supplements, a lot of great accessories with you guys. And we've got the water bottles. These are going to be coming in the next month and a half. Uh, the double barreled aluminum water bottles with the bamboo top. I can't wait to get these out for you guys as well. And uh, a lot of other cool things here coming out in the future with that. Thank you, as always, for listening. Please turn notifications on. We're available on all podcast platforms as well. And as always, your Super Chats, guys, are always greatly, greatly appreciated for showing your love and support here on Ryback TV. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the fights if you're watching them uh, tonight. And stay hungry, my friends. Feed me more.